Many people with both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism have a condition called goiter, which is an enlargement of the thyroid gland that can be caused by numerous factors. So what causes goiter? In people with hyperthyroidism and Graves' disease, this is commonly due to the overproduction of thyroid hormone. In both hypothyroid and hyperthyroid conditions, an iodine deficiency can also lead to goiter. In rare cases, goiter can be caused by malignancy. When it's due to an excess production of thyroid hormone or an iodine deficiency, then in most cases a natural thyroid treatment protocol can help to reverse this condition. When I was personally diagnosed with Graves' disease, I didn't have a full-blown case of goiter, as I would consider mine to have been a mild case, although if left untreated, it probably would have become larger. The reason I say this is because I did have some problems swallowing, and this was in the early phases, right after I was initially diagnosed. I remember I had especially a difficult time swallowing my fatty acid supplements and actually switched to the children's version for a while. So how can natural treatment methods help cure goiter? The way natural thyroid treatment methods can help cure goiter is by getting to the root cause of the problem. Of course, if it's caused by malignancy, then natural treatment methods probably won't be the best option. So the first obvious step in curing goiter is to determine what the underlying cause of the condition is. When I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, two main causes of my autoimmune hyperthyroid condition were a weakened immune system, which is of course a problem with every autoimmune thyroid disorder, along with weakened adrenal glands, which was confirmed with the adrenal stress index test I received. These are two common areas that are affected in people with both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism, and other areas of the body can be causing or contributing to the thyroid or autoimmune thyroid condition as well. Poor digestive health, nutritional deficiencies, and hormone imbalances are some other potential causes. If you have read some of my articles on my website, then you probably know that I would recommend consulting with a competent natural endocrine doctor in order to determine the cause of your condition. In addition to looking at the thyroid blood test that most endocrinologists and other types of medical doctors evaluate, a good natural endocrine doctor will most likely recommend other tests to find out the underlying cause of your hyperthyroid or hypothyroid condition. If your goiter is due to an iodine deficiency, then obviously you will need to correct this deficiency. Many people with thyroid and autoimmune thyroid conditions do have such a deficiency, which can be determined through a 24-hour iodine-loading urine test, or you could get a general idea of whether a deficiency exists through an iodine patch test. If it's determined that you have an iodine deficiency, then it will be necessary to begin supplementing with iodine, which is what I did when I was diagnosed with Graves' disease, and I still currently take daily iodine supplements. People with hypothyroidism can also supplement with iodine, although those with Hashimoto's thyroiditis will need to be careful, as many people with this condition need to first address the autoimmune response before being able to supplement with iodine. So how long will it take to cure goiter naturally? This is a question everyone has about their specific condition, as once they find out there is a cure, they want to know how long it will take. There is of course not a specific answer to this, as it depends on the individual. While many people respond quickly to natural thyroid treatment methods, it's impossible to predict whether someone will be completely cured after a few weeks or months. Typically, it will take at least a few weeks before the person begins experiencing some changes in their symptoms, and usually longer than this. But as for completely curing the condition, this will take more time to accomplish. The main key for curing goiter through natural treatment methods is to be compliant with the treatment plan. This is obvious, yet it's amazing how many people don't follow through with the recommendations given by the holistic doctor, and then they wonder why they didn't receive optimal results. Those who completely ditch the treatment plan, of course, don't think this way, as they obviously won't receive any benefits. But many people deviate from the natural thyroid treatment plan that's recommended to them, and then wonder why they don't fully recover. In order to receive optimal results, it's best to follow the treatment plan exactly, exactly as it's recommended to you. Unfortunately, not everyone who has a goiter can have this reversed. If it is due to an excess in thyroid hormone or an iodine deficiency, then this usually can be cured. On the other hand, sometimes people don't see much of a change when following a natural treatment protocol when it comes to the size of a goiter. So I don't want to give you any false expectations, as if you have a goiter, it is definitely worth giving natural treatment methods a try, but not everyone will see positive changes. Will receiving conventional medical treatment cure goiter? Receiving conventional medical treatment very well might help with the goiter, but one needs to keep in mind that this won't get to the underlying cause of the thyroid or autoimmune thyroid disorder. This of course means that the goiter may return over time. For example, giving antithyroid drugs to treat hyperthyroidism might help with the excess production of thyroid hormone, but they won't cure the hyperthyroid condition. 
Radioactive iodine might be recommended to treat the hypothyroid condition, but anything that obliterates the thyroid gland should usually be a last resort. This applies to thyroid surgery too, which is another option for some people who have a large goiter which is uncomfortable or is causing difficulty swallowing or breathing. This is why you might want to consider a natural thyroid treatment protocol first. Obvious if, obviously, if someone has difficulty breathing and or swallowing, then surgery might be the only option. But many cases of goiter can be helped through natural methods. In summary, it is possible to cure goiter when following a natural thyroid treatment protocol. If using conventional medical treatment methods, this can also help with the condition, but just keep in mind that such treatment methods won't get to the underlying cause of the problem. This is why I usually recommend to begin a natural treatment protocol first, unless if the person is experiencing severe symptoms which need to be addressed immediately. To receive more natural thyroid health tips, please visit naturalendocrinesolutions.com where you can get a free guide entitled The Six Steps on How Natural Thyroid Treatments Can Restore Your Health. This guide contains 100% pure content and is not a sales pitch for any product or service. Thanks for watching this presentation.